Well, it's great of all of you to be here. I've had the opportunity to work with hundreds of companies over the years, and there's something extraordinary about Health Catalyst. There are a few key lessons that are gonna emerge from this discussion that I've found to be immense strategic assets going forward that in their case are almost unique. And so as this story unfolds from Dan, the CEO, who's an extraordinary CEO, um, I hope you will take note of these core values and core things that they have in their company. So to begin with, we need to understand the context of what Health Catalyst does. And I remember being in a board meeting a few years ago, and one of your team members came up and described a situation that it just stopped everything for me. I said, what? Would you please talk about that and how it typifies what Health Catalyst does? You bet. Thank you, Fraser. And, and so much of, I think, what Health Catalyst um, aspires to be in terms of uh, uh, living up to the values of the company is personified in Fraser. We're so fortunate to have him as our chairman and have for, for many years. So what Fraser was referring to, I think, gets to the heart of why we exist as a company. So I'll, I'll just spend a moment describing what we do, and then we'll talk about that board meeting experience. Um, so. Health Catalyst fundamentally tries to do three things really well. Uh, we try to organize data with our health system clients from hundreds of, of different sources. That's the first thing. So that it can be used to analyze where there are clinical, financial, and operational opportunities for improvement. And we provide an apps layer of analytics to help pinpoint where those opportunities might exist. And then the third thing that we do is we bring domain experts in those specific clinical, financial, and operational areas to help our clients actually improve. So we work across that clinical, financial, and operational spectrum, but some of the most meaningful work that we do at a human level is that clinical improvement work. And uh, it's, it's very much at the core of what gets us all up in the morning at Health Catalyst. And so part of what we try to do is stay grounded to you know, the human impact that, that the work that we do can have. And, and so at the beginning of every board meeting, we start with an improvement vignette where we talk about how we've used data and analytics to improve outcomes. And one of the clinical examples that's really meaningful um, because of its impact is our work with sepsis patients. So across the U.S. on an annual basis, about 1.5 million individuals will deal with sepsis, which is the body's severe reaction to an aggressive infection. And it's a very dangerous condition, and often it occurs in a hospital setting. And the mortality rate uh, is one in six. So of those 1.5 million people that experienced sepsis last year, 250,000 died. And that accounts for between a third and a half of all the deaths that occurred in a hospital setting last year. So it's a, it's a really significant situation. And um, we are fortunate to have great technologists that build the data and analytics infrastructure to help us understand what are the causes of sepsis. How can you use data and analytics to, to spot uh, the risk of sepsis in a patient before uh, it gets too late to, to save that life or prevent injury? Uh, and then we have clinical domain experts, and we're really fortunate to have, I think, one of the national experts on sepsis care and sepsis prevention, and a colleague of mine named, named Kathy Merkley, and she was the one that was in that board meeting and, and shared a vignette that started with her personal story. Um, I'm going to share a little bit about Kathy, uh, and, and I do want to recognize her in just a moment. We have done work across dozens of clients now. These are big health systems. And Kathy has been involved with essentially all of that work. And many of our health system clients will track the number of lives that were saved and injuries that were prevented. And through Kathy's leadership and supported by many other clinical leaders and technology leaders, uh, and in partnership with our clients, we've, we've actually uh, been a part of saving hundreds of sepsis patients' lives uh, through our analytics and data infrastructure 
uh, and thousands of injuries have been prevented through that work. And Kathy shared a little bit about that, but before I share some of her personal story, I just want Kathy to stand. She just had surgery, but she told me she could still stand. And I just want to recognize Kathy. She is, she's incredibly driven. And part of the reason she's so driven uh, and, and her drive, I think, uh, permeates throughout Health Catalyst is she started her career as an emergency department nurse and sh shared a story in this board meeting that one night um, she was on, uh, on duty and a young family came in and it was a husband and a, and a five-day-old baby girl with his wife and his wife uh, had collapsed at home. She, she'd been released from the hospital three days earlier and within a day or two, she had called her physician with a significant fever and other symptoms that were misdiagnosed. Uh, the physician thought it was just, you know, a, a regular uh, bacterial infection and, and phoned in some antibiotics and, and that was all that happened. And then she collapsed two days later. And by the time she got to the emergency department, she was comatose. And while they all did everything that they possibly could, um, that mother passed away. And, and Kathy shared this experience of looking into the eyes of, of the husband and father, holding that five-day-old child, um, realizing the impact of, of that misdiagnosis, and made it her mission for the next couple decades to work really hard, first within a health system, uh, and she did some wonderful work at Intermountain Healthcare uh, for many years, helping uh, optimize the care of sepsis patients within that health system environment. And then about six years ago, she joined Health Catalyst. And I think part of what gets us really excited at Health Catalyst is the opportunity to work at scale across dozens or even hundreds of health systems that, that the data and analytics infrastructure that we have rolled out affects over 100 million patients now. And so now, Kathy's been able to work across many, many health system and hospital sites. And in fact, just yesterday, uh, there was a governance committee meeting at the, the health system that Kathy had talked about a little earlier. And uh, they have a dashboard that, that specifically tracks the number of lives saved. And at that particular health system, which is a relatively recent client, They've identified 90 people who are alive today that would not be alive if we hadn't uh, installed the technology infrastructure and, and worked with our clinical partners to, to implement the right algorithms, the right treatment bundles, and spot the early signs of sepsis before it's too late. And they'd also tracked about 60, thank you. We've also tracked um, about 6,500 lives impacted in terms of patients' injuries that have been prevented by sepsis and other infections. And that's the work that I think gets us all up in the morning. It's incredibly meaningful work. And I'm really proud to, to stand beside colleagues like Kathy Merkley. Yeah, let me just add, as one who has been on the operating table several times, we all end up in the hospital. We all end up there, and the question is, what is the quality of care you're gonna receive? What they do is make sure you're safe and get the best treatment possible. That's their mission. So, very meaningful for me. Um, what I'd like to talk about, uh, just for a minute, is your journey. Um, how you're progressing as a company, Health Catalyst, born and bred here in Utah, another fantastic company. How are you coming? Sure. Well. We have many to thank for the, the progress of the company. The co-founders of Health Catalyst came from Intermountain Healthcare, uh, and we've benefited so much from all the learnings of a great health system like Intermountain. And I think Utah and Silicon Slopes has such a unique opportunity in the healthcare space to really play an important leadership role. You've got such a great ecosystem with Intermountain, with the University of Utah, their medical school, with Primary Children's Hospital, and a flourishing healthcare tech ecosystem with some wonderful startups like Artemis Health and Collective Medical and uh, a number of others that I think are doing really important work. So we, we are excited to be among uh, 
other great organizations as well. So we are in our 11th year as a company now. Uh, we've grown a lot uh, since the early beginnings. We have about 750 team members. Last year, uh, the company's uh, annual recurring revenue grew by about 65%, so it was a big growth year for us to uh, a level of about 140 million. And our, our gap revenues were around 110 million. Uh, and we're excited about the progress. One of the things that we track that is most meaningful is how many across all of our clients, how many improvements actually occur, measurable, sustainable improvements across clinical, financial, and operational domains. And last year was a record year for us as well.